Live from Raleigh, you're watching WRAL News on Fox 50 in high definition with Bill Leslie, Kelsey Carlson, meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner, and Brian Trader with On Time Traffic. Coverage you can count on. You're watching WRAL News in high definition. Life after the tax credits. Yeah, the struggling house market, uh, the housing market is struggling right now. But what about the triangle and where are we headed? Well, real estate broker Al Schneid joins us now to make some sense of all of these numbers. What is the current score for our housing market? Well, good morning. Good to be here. And uh, I have to tell you, after yesterday's firestorm of media and uh, stock market on the real estate news, I consider getting in a school bus and going to school instead, but <laughs> decided I was probably too old and wouldn't fit in the chair anyway, so here I am. <laughs> uh, the score has gone negative for the first time, and it's gone negative in entirely because of the expiration of the tax credits. We're now two to three. The three negatives are sales, and um, under contracts are down 25 to 30 percent. The showings are down 20 some percent. The two positives and they're good positives actually are the, the uh, number of new homes coming on the market and it going into inventory was down about 3% from, from uh, 09. And that's great news because it'll lend some stability to our market and put less pressure on pricing. And then secondly and related to that is we only have about 10 months of inventory on hand and that's equal to last year which is great compared to given the fact that we slowed down in sales so much. So where is the market headed for the remainder of the year, Al? The, um, I'm still convinced after looking, you know, we track 50 to 75 pieces of data every month, and I'm still convinced we're going to see a nice 5% growth rate over 2009. Um, the, um, we're going to see a slow August again, and, uh, but the, I think we're going to see a pickup in September and, or likely in October, one of the two months, and we'll finish uh, on a nice note, and we'll be up about 5%. Year to date, we're up about 10, but we're going to give some of that back, but we're still going to be bigger than we were last year. Well, how was the summer? My wife, Dolores, uh, and business partner and I had a great summer, actually. We showed about <laughs> 300 houses in the last three months. Good. And uh, I thought I would uh, share some of, the, um, some of the information of what buyers go through in terms of houses looked at in miles. Uh, the average buyer that went under contract with us uh, saw about 27 homes before going under contract. We drove about 300 miles to show them those 27 homes. The most efficient buyer actually looked at only 23 and drove about 200 miles. And the one that was the most interested in looking at houses saw 57, and we drove a little over 600 miles. So clearly buyers uh, have stamina, and they're willing to look at a lot of houses uh, to make sure they make the right choice. But uh, we're, we're very thankful for that amount of business. Wow. Picky shoppers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the average uh, on-market um, number of showings for houses that, go, that close is about 32. So oh, okay. actually our numbers okay. are really not that much different on That's average anyway. <clears throat> Uh, real estate broker Al Stein, thanks so much for being with us today and, and bringing your lovely wife in as well. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Thank you. Always great to be here.